Hi, I'm Dr. Mark B. Hubble, and this is your Monday morning mini message. You know, along with being the head coach of a middle school basketball team, I'm also an assistant coach for the varsity program that we have of the NVHAA Centurions Athletics. And on Friday night, we had a game against the Thomas Jefferson School of Science and Technology, which is a public school, one of the few that we have on our schedule. And let me tell you, that team was tough. They were giving us the business the entire game. And toward the end, there was about a minute left and it was out of hand. So we have a kid on our team who has noticeable autism, whose name is Cameron. And we were trying to get him in the game and get him a shot to see if he could make a basket in a varsity game. So the other team had the ball and their coach called a timeout. And I was curious as to why their coach would call a timeout in a game in that situation with less than a minute left. And what he told his players was that they need to try to see if they can get Cameron a shot as well. So out of bounds, the kid takes a five second call. We get the ball back, throw it into Cameron. He misses the first shot, but the other team grabs the rebound and they throw a pass and Cameron stole the pass. And around the free throw line, he took a shot and it banked off the backboard and went in. And I'm telling you, the entire gym erupted in cheers. The opponents, uh, students, our kids, the opposing team, it was just a huge uproar in that gym for Cameron. And Cameron had a huge smile on his face that he got to make a basket. It moved me to tears emotionally. I'm almost getting choked up right now just thinking about it and thinking about the love and the sportsmanship that was shown that night. In the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 12, it says, No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. What I saw on Friday night was complete love by everybody involved. And I want to congratulate Cameron on making that shot. And I want you guys to think about this as you go about your week. You know, there's times where we see people that have disabilities and disadvantages and we wonder why, God, why is that happening? Why was that allowed? And if you would have saw what I saw on Friday night, you would have known. It's situations like that and special moments like that that just show us the kind of love that we're capable of showing if we dare to extend it. So I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And I know that I got a great gift by seeing that on Friday night. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Take care and God bless.